good everyone just uh recorded uh something on the profit six a crazy arpeggiation like nothing too thought out i just played a bunch of keys and i ended up with uh something kind of chaotic
crazy because the the notes are just so sporadic that I can play a bunch of different chords on top and it seems to work, especially with that uh with the bass note coming from the prophet six and the brightness coming from the uh It just works like all these different notes and chords just work on top of that it's just a matter in the order that you play it so as you can hear it's literally just a drum break with these crazy notes just playing on top of it and then you can just play chords on top and it all seems to work. keyboard stand do you have it's the fender roads with a straddle there's a there's like a straddle here that is able to support the prophet six and the mo so it's not really it's kind of a stand but it's more of like two different pieces that let me uh layer keyboards on top of each other so it's got two different levels on it uh you giving up too much sauce nah man this ain't sauce bro this is just process this flow it's what you do with it everyone's different uh do you send melodies out to producers yes i do i send them out all the time on order type sample what kind of royalties was your kind of royalties a nice check <laughs> yeah it was decent it was nice did your on god placement no man i still drive Toyota. I do, uh, I put my money into other things. So if I were to make this into a sample, I would probably start it with real soft chords, kind of like, some, like something loose. can be simple it's just a matter of like having that bass line like it's gotta go somewhere interesting Like the core 
words kind of like stay moving. I mean, like as soon as or as long as the bass line stays moving, the chords are just kind of like the same shit. It sounds way more complex than it really is. If Scarface had a son, it continued on. Scarface too. <laughs> right, it's like his theme song. baseline at all but it's it's pretty low because I got the cutoff on but I know through the phone I got unison activated with all six voices to make it like super fucking huge without it if I had one voice it just wouldn't be the same I put all six voices, both oscillators are turned all the way up. It just makes for a beast of a sound. You have a preference between the Rev 2 or the, uh, I would say, I would say that the Rev 2 is good for just overall like sound design, diving in deep to make unique patches. The Prophet 6, I would say, is more like plug and play. Like the minute you plug it in, all the patches sound amazing. It's really easy to, to come up with a, a usable sound. Uh, but yeah, I, to be honest though, e either one, you're gonna be happy. It just depends on how you use it. saxophone player i have a plug for you yeah man let me know i actually have a guy um that's out in la that has roots here in in milwaukee that i've, I've been using his name is curtis he's been helping me out in my last uh pre like previous packs but i'm always looking for new musicians so if you got someone feel, feel free to send me their info Let's see who's tuning in thank you all for watching prophet is a monster yeah the prophet is a beast afternoon what's for lunch today probably tacos to be honest
came on, do you do Hijo de Ramon sample? Yo, came on, do you do the Hijo? Yeah, I do. Hijo de Ramon is my, uh, is my library. So yeah, I do all those samples. Uh, love them tacos. <laughs> Yo, the Rhodes is great, but you can use Keyscape and it sounds identical. And it takes up less space in your room. sound like i'm telling you, i was saying earlier like the only reason that i feel like this shit's working is like those those row or those arp sounds on top it's so chaotic it's playing a bunch of different notes at once or like in sequence that it, it allows me to play different chords on top so it all seems to work I'll kind of show you what i'm talking about it's basically just Yeah, to answer your question, if you got samples, if you're a composer, feel free to send me shit. I got, I had asked a bunch of composers and people to send me samples in the past, and uh, I try to go through all of them just to see if I can find someone to release a pack through my library. I've been holding off a little bit because I have to get some stuff set up on the back end, but if you got samples, feel free to send me the a preview of what you can do. Um... And if I like it, you know, things can move pretty fast and we can work on a pack together or I can send you or I can have you release a pack to the library. I'm going to post my email and feel free to uh, to send me loops and samples. I'm looking for composition. So if you got loops and stuff, that's great. But I want I want someone that can that can really play some shit and put together a solid and composition sample pack. But yeah, B Butcher. I think he just joined. What's up, B Butcher? Thank you for joining. Welcome. libraries any synth libraries you recommend um i mean i say the usual suspects to be honest like bruin K, um, kpm um there's a really good youtube channel called sewn image on you on, on youtube that pretty much posts strictly synthesizer library records um that's a really great source for inspiration i go there all the time 
Um, let's see. I mean, just go to YouTube and type in synth library uh, music and you'll have literally thousands, if not millions of fucking options to, to like pick from as far as inspiration. Uh, a trick that I like to do is when I find a library record or a library song that I, I really like, uh, I find who composed it or I find the label and I go to Discogs and I type in the label and that'll give me like all the releases that that label released for like for the most part. And then from there, you're able to kind of like do some some e-digging to find stuff like deeper cuts, stuff that's even on YouTube that isn't as popular. It's got like 15 views, so it's not going to come up on your feed when you type in stuff. But you can really come across some really obscure shit that no one really knows about for the, like for the most part. Um, I say that nothing's really rare anymore, but you, you can find some really interesting cuts. You just got to dig deep enough. And I feel like YouTube is still... Um, a really great place to find some inspiration. Yeah, so usually when I finish a, when I finish a pack, I'll clear my entire FL studio like completely. I'll erase all the project files, everything, and I'll start fresh. I back everything up, but I tend to clear it so that way I can just have like a clean slate. about five minutes ago by the way I had to tap out five minutes ago man i think i was talking about youtube digging to be honest yeah a lot of these men are just ideas i record them whether i use them or not they're just i'd rather get them out of my head Let's see. I should break something down if you guys want to see that. I can do like a quick breakdown. Something I won't post to YouTube. This is strictly live content. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's break something down from the first exclusive pack that I did. I'm gonna play a bunch of these samples and I want you guys just to go, uh, or I'll, I'll play three, and then you say one, two, or three, and that's the one that I'll break, I'll do a breakdown right now. Uh, let's see. Uh... Thank you. 
think that was three, right? Was that three? All right, one, two, or three. Here, I'll play them again. So this is number one. And then number two. L hug was good, bro. And then number three. Yo, L hug is a legend. Let me just tell you. He is a legend. A true, true musician. 100% without a doubt. Shout out to L hug. Alright, so that's three. Alright, everyone's saying two. All right, someone said three. Two is wild. I feel like everyone's saying two, so fuck it. I mean, you know, you know, I'll wait two more, two more seconds. Two. <laughs> All right, two. Two is wild. So far, we got one three and like ten twos. I'm just gonna do two. Passenger seat. Let's see. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do like a full proper breakdown. It's gonna be like a quick one because these are just the stems, but I, for the most part, remember how I processed everything. I'll, I'll do my best to kind of break it down as detailed as I can get. But just to kind of give you like a inside look as to how these samples kind of came together. Passenger seat, where's it at, where's it at? Right here. All right, this one for sure started with the uh, with the bass line, and I used the OB6 for this, and it's basically just a few notes, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Let me put the BPM. part was a lead sound which was from the the Moog Sub 37 oh actually to, to go back for the OB6 I always throw on uh, decimort on these on my bass sounds if you guys aren't familiar with decimort it's this shit right here I use decimort a lot on bass I turn the preamp to like about I don't know maybe like 1 dB and then the output volume I put right at 12 o'clock and then I fuck with the preamp again until I get it up like right you'll get a little bit of this like uh, noise distortion and stuff because of the bits of uh, knob here and I put this all the way to off and I play with the frequency a tiny bit because then it adds a little bit more noise back into it but I'm able to have more control over it here uh, or sometimes I'll just leave it off but these two top knobs are usually where I'm at when it comes to using decimal because it just makes shit crazy fat. Uh, anyways, that was for the bass. For the lead line, this is it. Really simple, really, really simple. Again, the Mox Up 37 with, I think, compression and some room, re room reverb. Um, and then I moved on to the pads, which most, more likely it was the Prophet Ref 2. Just going through chords, um... Kind of like, almost like an ARP sequence, kind of, but definitely played manually. Uh, let's play all that together so far. Oh, wait a minute. Am I breaking down the wrong one? These guys wanted the other one, right? Fuck it. You know what? I'm, I'm going to finish this one, then I'll do the other one. Pluck sounds. I 
forgot what I use for that. That might be the Prophet Six, honestly. Um, ran through Space Echo, um, the audio thing, Space Echo, and then vocals. pitched up once you pitch them down you kind of hear what they normally sound like it's just me humming when you pitch it up it sounds it sounds better anyways together <laughs> You guys got a freebie because I fucked up and broke down the wrong one, but it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you both. Um, affection, that's what it's called. That was number two. Bam, 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 bam. This one's got a lot of fucking stems. Anyways, it's all good. Save the best for last. Okay, you guys ready? We're doing both. We're doing both of them. Uh, so this one was an idea written on the roads. One night, I remember because I forgot we had gone grocery shopping. Me and my girlfriend had gone grocery shopping. And we usually do Trader Joe's and Target for our grocery haul. And we had just stocked up. And usually after a grocery haul kind of tired, I want to relax, or I'm like, I'm like in a relaxed state, so I wanted to make something really chill, um, and I, you know, I came up with this idea on the roads, and um, I recorded about like five minutes of a session of me kind of just playing, and I found this section that I ended up keeping, and this is what it was. Stupid simple. Like, there was a bunch of chords. There, all these different ideas I was doing, but these two chords back to back, it just worked. Um, I then added a piano. Uh, it was from a contact library. I forgot which one. I think it might have been um, a Piano in Blue. There you go. I used Piano in Blue for this uh, piano sound. And I ended up playing this on top of the roads. got like kind of like a ballad feel like it, it's kind of taking you on a journey a little bit as or it was taking me on a journey at least as I was making it because I, I was really excited to finish it because usually after like five or six I'm ready just to relax and not make music anymore I'm definitely an early bird but this one definitely kept me up um the next piece was a lead line played on one of my synthesizers can't forget I think it was the Moog or the the mole or the OB6? It was the OB6. And then it comes in again. twice another lead line which kind of rides on top of that previous one uh, to kind of accent a few different parts the thing that I like to do um, I do love to add vocals into my samples, but when I don't feel like adding vocals, I use synthesizers to kind of emulate a voice. Obviously, it's not a real voice and you know it's a synth sound, but it kind of falls into like, or it gives you that same emotion almost. And I try to make this lead sound feel like it was someone singing. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if that translated well, but that's what I was going for. Um, let me play 
everything so far, you get an idea. so far um, I then added another lead sound uh, to kind of go in after that section there's that and then I think this is when I brought in Gerson so Gerson is another legendary musician that has been blowing up lately, helping all the top guys with like their samples. Like I know he's helping Mario with stuff, uh, MTK. I'm very lucky enough to be able to reach out to him, and he's been helping me. Um, I had him play some guitar sprinkles and chords and lead lines, and he killed it. He killed it. Like there was no going back and forth. I sent him the sample. Basically, it was just this. I, everything that I showed you was the rough idea. I had that going and I couldn't figure out what to do next. So I reached out to him. I sent him the sample within like a fucking hour. He had all this done already. Uh, so let me start adding in his stuff. And he gave me some chords. Oh, my bad. Lead lines. some sprinkles whatever he calls them sprinkles you know just ear candy and it really fucking worked uh, chords Again, it was him just kind of like riffing and playing on top of what I had given him already as far as chords. But I know, he, I, I can tell he added like some extra sauce on certain parts. And then he gave me a bass line too. Very simple, but heavy. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It all came together and this is what the sample ended up being. can I talk about what else can I show you guys fuck it you know what I got so this latest pack Oscuro the one that I just dropped has been doing really well and I really appreciate the support for real like it's crazy the, like, the response on this has been so incredible um, I wanted to go through and see if I can just experiment with chopping up one of my samples. I haven't like sampled my myself in a minute, but I'm gonna go through and see if I could fuck around with uh, one of the samples. <laughs>
up with a simple ass drum. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's use, let's use these, the count. Yo, his drums are crazy. His drums are nuts. But yeah, the sample that I'm using is off of my latest pack, Oscuro. Beat for the first time in like 30 years. Did she bring bagels? Yeah. Hey, did you bring bagels? I did. Where are the bagels at? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I look a little rough. All right. Keeping it simple because I want to get to the sample, but I just wanted the drums to have some type of swing. Ah, right, let's do let's do eighty eight. Nah, not how about ninety two. Let's do it every two. Yo, I haven't fucking done a drum pattern in forever. I mean, no, nah, I lie. Uh, I'm dead, huh? She a real one? Yeah, man, I love her. She's too funny. Let's see. Um, I like that one. Or the piano, actually. Let's see if we can get a. Chops right now, trying to find something that works. Let's not 
chop. What if we just jump right into... kind of surreal like I'm chopping this sample because I used to chop records with like samples that I didn't make and now I'm like I made this shit it's crazy maybe it's too fast like 92 is crazy let's not do 92 bring it back to 89 maybe Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let's slow it down. show you a view you can see everything but let's find one more piece Oh, there we go. 
using it high pitched I brought it back down Buddha the future yo what's good Buddha thank you for tuning in brother just chopping up a sample Top right here ain't working. For me. Maybe this one. Nah, we need. same sample if I can find something let's see I know I have it I got that hit I should have pulled that sample if I fucking lost it what's it called Almas let's see let's try it again Nah. 
Woo! Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, let's go. better slower Let's do uh, a filter real quick. See what this sounds like filtered out. Just curious. It's a simple four chop beat, but who knows? It's got potential. I haven't made a beat like this in a minute either. I just like fucking with the... No. Try to reverse it on the sample. My girl just got home from work. I'm gonna go see what she's up to, maybe get some food. I appreciate everyone who watched, who tuned in. This was fun. I'll be back to do another one soon. You guys have a good weekend. Peace.